Thank you for tuning in to the fifth place match of the U.S. Open Crokinole Championship. Today, featured in this match is the Cheeky Buggers, Simon Dowrick and Mark Boot versus Irish Steel, Jason Malloy, and Magic Mike. These players will be fighting for the fifth place prize, this beautiful photo created by Seth Frank. Now, first place will be fighting for $1,001, but this is where the real take home prize is. Players now to volley, and the cheeky buggers get it. Cheers from the crowd, and the cheeky buggers will be taking first shot. They are on their 20s today, so they are more than happy to take it. Dowrick scores his first 20, but before they continue, some sportsmanlike handshakes around the table. Malloy, next to shoot, also drains his open 20. Boot up next. Also gets it going around the circle to Magic Mike. Both of these players are absolutely dialed in. They have been through the entire tournament. Oh, Dowrick is the first to miss, leaving potentially an opportunity for Jason Malloy to score. For those of you that don't know, Jason Malloy and Magic Mike are members of the Extra Pint Crokinole Club Voorheesville, the Crokinole Club that is running this fantastic tournament. Jason now to shoot, loses his own disc. Resetting now to boot for the open 20. Not quite goes far, maybe leaving an opportunity for Magic Mike to go up in the cup, which would be great since Irish Steel have the hammer advantage. Cheers around the table as the players have some liquid courage. Magic follows through a bit far, but leaves the disc nicely posted. No great options for Dowrick here. He'll be most likely just looking for the off at this point. I'm not seeing a clear 20 off of this. He lines up his shot. Nice. Not quite the off, down in the five, but leaves his disc between the pegs. Oh! Let's replay that. Cheers in the audience as the disc catches two pegs, barely bumping the red disc. A perfectly valid shot. Loving the energy in this crowd. The cheers. This is Crokinole. Now another opportunity for Magic Mike to convert to a 20 and nice just wobbles in there Irish Steel now up in the 20 cup and with hammer advantage never mind Dowrick what a beautiful angle in now this is a crokinole match fantastic shots from both players Malloy checking the situation to see what he needs looks like he'll be working with that further out disc content just to hit and stick Irish Steel does have the hammer, so they will most likely leave the higher place disc until later towards their last shot. Boot now trying to carve up. Doesn't quite get it. Looks like his disc is still in the 10. Mike now taking his pick. Leaves his disc just in the 15, I believe. Boot carves his disc back out. Malloy now considering his options. It looks like he might be lining up the double. He's just confirming that the second disc will not catch that peg. Very nice shot. A little bit more power and that would have done it. Nonetheless, play is firmly, was firmly sealed to the outside. Boot carves in. Magic now potentially looking to hide to draw a mistake from the cheeky buggers. Looks like there might be a clear line for Dowrick through the left lane, through the pegs. Players discuss if that's the best option. Probably confirming that they will not hit their own disc. Very nice shot from Dowrick. Malloy, for now, seems content to keep it on the outside. Either discussing whether he should take it or if... He should take the 15 and leave the one on the outside for Magic to get. Malloy decides to go for the outside. Boot now, trying to get back in, so to not leave his partner. Oh, 
Never mind, that was the last shot. And without that off, all Magic needs is to take out the 15, and Irish Steel will take the first round, which they do. Very good job. Nice shots around the board. We see Magic's nice touch 20 there, and Dalric's amazing angle in. Very close round, but Irish Steel are now up 2-0. to zero. Malloy to start this second round drains the 20. Boot next to shoot also drains the 20. For those of you that don't know, the U.S. Open Crokinole Championship is run by the Extra Pint Crokinole Club and has been said by many to be the best Crokinole tournament out there. One thing is for sure, it certainly is a hoot. You can see the audience in the back having a great time. And we were almost two times around the board, but Dalric, an unfortunate miss coming up a bit short. You hear boos from the audience. Malloy now an opportunity to convert and solidify their advantage in the 20s cup, which they do. Cheeky buggers do have hammer, but with that 220 advantage for Irish Steel, it will be difficult for them to catch up. See what Magic Mike does with this. Content to keep play on the outside. They do not want to give the cheeky buggers any opportunity to even the 20s cup. Dalric almost got that angle in just a little bit short. And a heavy hanger opportunity for Malloy here. Very nice shot from Jason Malloy. On fire this round. Boot tries to carve it in. Just lands shy of the 10. Magic, again, content to stay on the outside. Has to be careful not to leave a uh, door open for Dalric here, who has been deadly on those angle ins. Just gets up between the pegs. Malloy now content to keep it right there. Boot will most likely be looking to catch a peg. They are down 220s and need to make something happen. Catches a peg, but not quite enough strength. Magic here will be looking to hit and stick, keep his disc between the pegs as to give Dalric nothing to work with. Doesn't get the off, but not the worst. They are still up 220s, so that won't necessarily hurt them unless Dalric can make something big out of this. He will most likely be going for a follow-through shot. Very difficult with how the disc is placed, but certainly doable and he doesn't get it it looks like his disc caught a peg on the way in Malloy now very content to keep the disc out there and takes away any chance for the cheeky buggers to come back into this round Irish Steel will now be taking home the second round of this game bringing the score to four nothing players shooting their final discs Let's see some highlights. Malloy, two amazing shots. That touch 20 as well as this very heavy hanger. Fantastic shots from Malloy here. Boot to open up this third round. Irish Steel now with the hammer and unfortunate overshot there from Boot. Magic makes it hurt giving Irish Steel a 120 advantage and with the hammer. Jeremy seems to be trying to distract Malloy from this very critical match. And oh no! Just bounces out of the 20. Hanger opportunity was there and it was not converted. Boot now with the same opportunity and hits and sticks, leaving a potential drop back 20 for Magic Mike. Looks to be a little far, but certainly doable. Also doesn't get it. Players going back and forth on these hangers. Nobody quite able to convert. We are all the way back to Malloy now. Who takes it away from all those hangers. None of the players liked it. All the way down in the five now. Boot, peels, loses his disc. Not sure if it was intentional. Some discussion amongst the players. Magic now brings it up to a 220 advantage. You hear the cheers from the audience. Dalric also with his own 20, getting a cheer from the audience. Malloy now to shoot. We have one very enthusiastic crowd member, which is fantastic. 
Irish Steel up to 20s. Boot goes long again. Leaving it between the pegs, not the easiest shot for Magic, but if he can get this, then they will be in a very solid position. Nice. Now there might be a thin slice opportunity here for Dowrick. If he can get this 20, close the gap. Oh, it looks like it just skimmed the 20. Very good bid there. Malloy now, they are debating whether he should go for that 20 or just get it away from any opportunities for the cheeky buggers. Content to hit and stick. Although he doesn't look too happy with that shot, certainly not a lot for Boot to work with here. He'll be pushing for a follow through. Certainly not a gimme. Little bit of push there, but not quite enough. Maybe a drop back opportunity for Magic here. And not quite. Now this disc looks far enough back from the 20 that it'll be very hard for Dowrick to convert. But nonetheless, he does need it. So, oh, loses his shooter. An open board for Malloy. Ouch. 320 advantage now for the Irish Steel team. Boot gets his own 20. Trying to close the gap, but inconsequential at this point as Irish Steel will be taking back the third round. Players now just practice shots. Malloy with the hammer. And some... Oh! That is a first in competitive Crokinole history. Look at this. The no-look Shot gets the eye contact with the opponent, waits till he's looking him dead in his eyeballs, and scores the 20. That is why Jason Malloy is the man, the myth, the legend. What an amazing shot to go into the fourth round with. Irish Steel now up 6 0. It is a race to seven, so if they win this round, that will be it. Irish Steel up in the 20s count. Cheeky Buggers do have Hammer. But they do need to make something happen now as Irish Steel do have the edge with that 20. Boot does get the off and leaves his between the pegs on the far side from Magic. Magic content to leave it there, leaving Dowrick with a very thin line, which seems to be what he's going for. Oh, beautiful shot. Fantastic from Dowrick. I should never doubt him. That was fantastic. Malloy with his own 20. <laughs> Cheers from the audience yet again. Boot now leaving Magic a not super easy shot. Back in the five. Might be a very thin line for him there. Takes his time with the shot. And nice. Hit and sticks there. The cheeky buggers now need to get back into the 15. Get played back to the middle if they want to close the gap on the 20s. Even just 120 would do it since they have hammer advantage. But Irish Steel is going to make them work for it with Malloy leaving his disc between the pegs, not giving Boot a lot to work with. Looks like he'll be going for the same thin slice that Dowrick went for a couple rounds before and almost gets it so close. Unfortunately, leaving a hanger opportunity for Magic Mike, who converts it. Very nice shot. Now up 220s in the cup. Cheeky Buggers are in deep, and they need something big. Dowrick trying to catch a few pegs. Not quite the right angle to get the 20. Malloy now, considering their options, looks like he might be seeking a double. Not that they need it at this point. Even with two discs on the board, the Cheeky Buggers need more to be back in control of this round. Malloy gets the off. Just the one, but certainly more than enough. Boot now will be fighting to push this back into the center. While hopefully also not setting up Magic Mike, which is easier said than done. Magic Mike has done a lot of work to earn his name. Making 20s where they seem to not exist. So let's see what he does here. Very nice placement from Magic Mike. Leaving Dowrick with quite the conundrum. They're already down 220s. But with that disc 
horribly in the way, it is going to be very t difficult for Dalric to get it. Looks like he'll be going over the center hole and maybe going through his own or that very thin lane. Unfortunately, catches a peg, but didn't hit any of his own, so it could have been much worse. Boot now needing something big down to their last three shots. Players discussing their options. They need to score two 20s to close the gap in the cup. Probably a third one to guarantee the round. Looks like he'll be lining off to ricochet and bump his own. Doesn't quite get it. Catches a peg instead. Magic now more than content to keep it on the outside. Leaving Dowrick with only one to work with. He'll be pushing for a follow through here. They need the 20. Doesn't quite get it. Leaves it between the pegs. I believe this round is all but over. Leaving a posted shot. That will just about do it. Up to 20s, one shot. Inconsequential. Great match. Jason Malloy and Magic Mike will be taking home the fifth place prize from the 2024 U.S. Open Crokinole Championships. What a fantastic match between these four amazing players. Congratulations to the winners. You can see Irish Steel here with the creator of the fifth place prize, Seth from Bowling. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned as the third place match and finals match from the U.S. Open Crokinole Championship will be coming out very shortly. As always, make it a great day.